thank you so much for watching. What I'm going to do today is show you exactly how I did my living room and dining room curtains out of bed sheets. I spent a total of like 140 bucks on two curtain rods and six panels of like sheets for my curtains. This requires no sewing whatsoever. It's super simple, it takes no time at all. Just get everything out of the packaging, put them up and then steam them and then it's done. So I wanted to show you what they look like. I filmed the day that we actually put them up, part of the process. Um, and then I just want to show you what they look like like a week later whenever um, they've been hanging and they've all straightened out. I did steam them, but I wanted to show you what they look like now completed. So this is what the curtains look like in my living room. I had them on the ring so that I could easily just move them around if I need to. Like that. But they look so good. I've gotten so many compliments on them. I like them kind of puddled at the floor like they are. Um, just because it gives that illusion that the room is so much bigger than it actually is. But this is what they look like in the living room. This is them in my dining room. So I did the exact same thing. You can see that it's not quite as high off the ground as the living room is, so it is way more bustle down here, which I, again, do not mind. I just kind of let them hang kind of billowy like that, and I love the way that looks, how it puddles on the floor. And you can't even tell that it's a bed sheet. <laughs> it just looks like a really uh, lightweight curtain. Hang up the curtain rod. This is a, I think it goes all the way up to 240 inches rod. And then these are all of the bed sheets, and I'm putting the rings on them now. So I think I put eight on this one. I just kind of played around with it. And I ordered all the rings separately to fit around the curtain rod. So what I've done is I am taking a twin size flat sheet and I'm folding it in half with the seams on the inside. This is the inside and that's the outside because the seam is on the inside. Find out where I'm going to space them. I'm folding it in half. I'm putting one on each end and then I'm going to put one right here in the center. like four hooks on the inside and then four on the outside like around that hook does that make sense yeah. Jason so four on the left side and four on the right yeah yep This is how I hung them. I did the seam side is on the inside and I flipped the end hooks that way, if that makes sense. And then all the other ones are just hung normally. And then the other end is opposite. So I made it to where the ends face the back, if that makes sense at all kind of like tuck the ends and then I did four on one side of the wall piece and then four on the other side so if I straighten it all out it'll be even and kind of hide the curtain rod holder so I did that for all four sheets.
tutorial. If you try it, definitely let me know. If you have any questions at all, reach out to me on my Instagram or just put a comment below and I can help you out if you have any questions. I understand that you may have some. I have a lot of questions. I just kind of figured it out as I went along. I am going to be linking my blog post that has even more instruction in the description box below. Please subscribe and like if you enjoyed this so I know to make more of these in the future.